It's not giving what it was supposed to give, and then I'm upset, and then it's just a whole hot mess, right? Hey, hey people, what's up? It's your girl Ava D with the Sparkle in My Hustle. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ava, and I talk about all things lifestyle, inspiration, and beauty. And if you've been here before, shout out to you. I always appreciate when you all return to my channel, subscribe, and all of those good things. As the title of this video says, I'm going to be talking to you all about packing today. So I'm going to share five packing tips with you all as well as do a little pack with me so you guys can see what's going in my suitcase. So if you're interested, make sure you keep on watching as well as hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other uploads. Alrighty y'all, so tip number one that I have is prep for packing with a packing list. Do not underestimate a power of a list y'all, okay? Personally, I like to look on Pinterest for my packing list just because I feel like those are the most like defined ones and I just feel like they're better for me and I just feel like they're usually like really inclusive of all things that you could possibly need. And so personally, whenever I'm searching, I will literally search packing list for the beach, packing list for the mountains packing list for a two-day trip or whatever the case may be so you can get really detailed and so you can get some new ideas about things that you may need as well as jog your memory because I think sometimes we think about things or we don't think about them and so we're like oh I for sure need this or forget that you're going to need that and so with the packing list it goes ahead and gives you a starting place for your brain and then of course you can add any other items that the list doesn't include that's usually what I'll do if I have specific things or I know we're going to be doing specific activities where I'm going to need things that aren't on the list I'll just go ahead and at that but always start with a packing list that's already pre-made just to jog your memory and make sure you don't leave anything out alrighty y'all tip number two that I have for you is to organize your clothes by outfits before putting them in the suitcase this is such a life-changing tip for me once I started doing it like this was life-changing for me because I was the type of person that I would literally just like get all these cute clothes and just dump them in the suitcase and I'd be like oh okay this is gonna go with this, this is gonna be super cute and usually two things would happen one I would order something last minute and I wouldn't try it on and it wouldn't fit so I would literally get there and be like oh my gosh this dress is gonna be so bomb and then I can't even get in the dress and that's like it's not given what it was supposed to give and then I'm upset and then it's just a whole hot mess right if you've ever been on like girls trips and things like that you know there's always there's always that one person that has like an outfit mess misfunction or something like that don't be that person okay try on your stuff beforehand organize your stuff by outfits it also makes it easier when you get to the city because you can just go ahead and be like okay I have this outfit I know what I'm wearing move on from there with that I would say definitely look at your itinerary or just talk with your friends about the things that you're going to be doing that way you can pack enough outfits um, and you can pick out you can have outfits for specific things so if you know you're gonna be going to a lot of dinners go ahead and pack some outfits for that if you know you're gonna be out clubbing you can go ahead and be organized for that rather than just dumping things in the suitcase and kind of along with that something that's helpful for organizing is using like old Shein bags or old Amazon bags with zippers on them that way you have your outfits all in one place so you can literally grab a bag get dressed and you're good to go and the third tip that I have for you all kind of goes along with the whole idea about the Shein bags but make sure all of your items in your suitcase have a place that's one of the things that I have seen people like learn from the hard way it personally hasn't happened to me but I remember being in the airport and there was um, a person in front of me and they basically like TSA basically took everything out of their carry-on suitcase and like their underwear was flying everywhere they just had like wigs fine it was just a lot that they had going on and when TSA goes through your stuff they usually don't put it all back you're responsible for that so make sure you have organizers and carriers and things for specific items whenever you put them in your suitcase so for example if you have like intimate so bras underwear that type of thing make sure you get like some little mesh delicate bags or whatever to put those in so whenever they do open it they just have to zip it back up rather than tossing it back in or for example for me when it comes to toiletries I like to use my toiletry carrier put all of those in there and then for makeup use my makeup carrier so stuff just isn't flying everywhere just make sure you have organizers so everything has a specific place and so you can put things back in easily if you have to take it out tip number four that I have when it comes to packing is one that some people might disagree with me on but I think whenever you're packing to go on a trip somewhere try to pack outfits that are going to require the least amount of work and what I mean by that is like you may not want to pack 
like all linen outfits or all outfits that require immense amount of ironing just because one like ironing takes time and then two sometimes hotel irons just aren't great unless you're saying like at a luxury resort or something that's a little bit different but if you're just going on like a weekend trip or something like that try to pack items that require the least amount of work so you don't want to have to like sew anything up whenever you're on the trip or you don't wanna have to be ironing or steaming something all day try to pick items that are going to be easy for you to just like fold them up neatly and you can dust them off with the iron a little bit and keep on going that's just you know something that is more like a personal preference but whenever I'm packing I just try to pack things that are really cute and really nice but don't require a ton of ironing because I know me and I'm not gonna feel Alrighty y'all, so the fifth and final tip that I have for you all when it comes to packing is pack at least two days in advance of your trip. I have learned this the hard way and it's so annoying because you forget things and you're just like frantic and it's just you're always bound to leave something. So I recommend that you pack at least two days in advance. Right now, today is Sunday when I'm filming this and I will be leaving on Tuesday. So the plus side of doing it this way is I have all day today to pack. So I can put all my items in the bag or whatever and then tomorrow evening right before I go to bed I can double check my bag just to be sure I didn't leave anything I didn't forget anything out or if I want to add something I can do that so when I get up on Tuesday and it's time for me to rock and roll I can do that and I'm not concerned about if I left something so y'all that is like one of the biggest biggest tips that I have for you make sure that you pack in advance Alrighty y'all, so those are all the tips that I have for you all. I hope that you all find these helpful. I have to run out for an errand really quick, but whenever I come back, I'm gonna get started packing. So let's go ahead and get ready to get this suitcase together y'all.
done packing so I wanted to show you guys what I have I have to add a few more things like some sleepwear and stuff like that but I have some of that in the dryer I promise y'all I'm gonna have space for it it's just a couple more things so as you can see my toiletries my shoes are all in here I added some extra like cloth face masks to go with outfits um, extra just like liquid things so like some sunscreen and aloe vera gel some towels a tie to go pin and then that's gonna zip close and then this is where my clothes and everything is so this is the bag that I was talking about for like underwear and stuff like that so if you're going through TSA and they take it out and they open it they literally just have to zip it close I ordered these from Amazon I have a link below for you guys I also have this bag for like bras and stuff and then I packed an extra bag this all came in a set on Amazon and this will be used for like dirty clothes and things like this just to have an extra bag in case I need it and then I put like handbags on top I try to pack as light as possible but still have options y'all so I usually like to do at least two neutral colors to go with all my outfits and then I'm gonna move this so you all can see what I mean about the um, packing bags using the Shein bags as packing bags y'all again these are great you can go ahead and put your outfits together for some of the bags I was able to put full outfits in but these bags were smaller than I thought they were um, and so I had a few of like the larger ones but like this I put all of my white pieces in here just so I know that if I'm looking for a white top it's in here if I'm looking for black tops they're in here um, I have an outfit here an outfit here and one underneath um, and then I have like my one pieces and stuff like that so yeah that's how I have it organized but again y'all these bags are really 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 good go ahead and recycle what you already have some people like to buy packing cubes but honestly I feel like these work just fine and then I have some accessories that are laying on my bed right now. I cannot find the little carrier thing that I usually put my accessories in. So whenever I find that, I'm going to toss those bad boys in here. But yeah, like I said, all I have left to do is add like some sleepwear. And that's literally like two more pieces. I feel like I have like one pajama set, but I want to have at least like one to two more. And then yeah, I'm going to zip this baby up. Yeah.